ride with a man This world is so full of amazing talent. Just think about what it takes to build a freight liner. Think about the skill and the talent that goes into playing an instrument. Or what about just doing the normal things that we do every day in order to make this, this country run? And, and those are just the tangible things, the things that we can measure. Just think about the, the talent that goes into maintaining a loving relationship or caring for somebody else with grace. I'm certain from, from what I see of this world that God made us with the potential to be spectacular. He's given us talents and when we use our talents and share them with the world, it becomes a better place. Do you know the word Jesus uses in the Bible for talent is the word talentus? It's a Greek word. Literally, this word talentus, it means to carry or to bear. The implication here is, is that a talent is something, it's something that we use or do something. Anyway, in Matthew chapter 25, Jesus gives us this parable of the talents. Now a parable is, it's kind of like a riddle. It's a, it's a story. And Jesus is talking and he gives us this parable of the talents. It's a story of a master. And the master has three servants. And it says that the master goes and gives his servants these talents. So there's three servants and the first one he gives five talents. The second servant, he gives two talents. And then the third servant, he gives one talent. And it says here that he gives them the talents according to their ability. Now, the hope for the master in this story, the hope is that the master will go away and the three servants that he's left with these talents, they'll do something with the talents. They'll they'll bear fruit with the talents, or they'll use them in a way that will generate more talents for the master and, and for the servants. Two of the servants, they double what is given to them. They go out there and they wheel and deal, and the master comes back and he rewards them. But the third servant, the third servant, he just buries what was given to him this teaching that Jesus gives on talents it has nothing to do with whether or not we're as talented as others. You see, Jesus is happy when we use whatever talents he's given us. But the thing that, that makes the master angry, the thing that Jesus says that gets a guy kicked out of the kingdom is not that this guy wasn't as talented as everybody else. It was that he buried his talent. He, he just sat on it. The master gave him something to carry, something to bear, and he buried it in the ground. And the thing is that Jesus, Jesus hates when, when we bury our talents, when we, we sit on them, when we don't use them, because he hates to see a good thing go to waste. Every one of us has some kind of talent that, that we can share, something that we're good at, whether it's at home or, or work or church. We all have something that we can share with the world to make it a better place. I wonder, what talent is God waiting for you to share with the world? Never tell a joke that ain't that funny more than once And if you wanna hear God laugh, tell him your plan